This is the Rainforest Automation EMU2. It's an energy monitor that links up with the smart meter on your house. So it basically provides a head unit display that shows exactly how much power your house is using at any given time. So right now you can see I'm using 0.054 kilowatts, which is simply just 54 watts. And that's kind of the base load of the house when nothing's running. So the refrigerator's off and everything's off. That's just the, the bare minimum that everything takes just for kind of standby modes. And you can see it's 0.7 cents per hour, and that's based on 14 cents per kilowatt hour that I'm paying right now. So some requirements for this meter are that you have to have a smart meter on your house, and your power company has to allow it to connect. It can be within anything up to 75 feet, and it should get a good signal. And there are a few different pages and modes on this to display different information. So if I page down, I get kind of a, a graph that shows historic usage. So yesterday I had a fair bit more usage because I was home, the air conditioner was running, and there's quite a bit of stuff going. So it used 12.6 kilowatt hours for $1.77 for yesterday. Today I've been gone most of the day, and it's only 3 kilowatt hours. You can see a spike in the morning when I got up, and then a little spike now after I've gotten home. So this is kind of useful to show historic usage. Okay, here's how much it's used since it's been plugged in, which is since October 11th. 17.8 kilowatts hours total, and it's only been about 1.8 days. And here's the rate, 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, I believe the utility can actually send this to the unit, but I set it myself. Currently in tier one, and I should not go over that tier one. Okay, here's a message. This is a message the power company sends every day to the meter that shows the previous day's usage. So it says yesterday I used, it doesn't let it show up very long though. Uh, the bill to date is $11.41 total. The forecast bill is $30. And the current tier is tier one at 14 kilowatt hours, 14 cents per kilowatt hour. I can confirm that message and then I'll get a new message tomorrow. Uh, here's the current time and date, which is sent from the power meter. And then there's the actual meter reading. It should mirror exactly what's on the meter outside. And back to the home page here that I normally have up, 54 watts. Now, the next thing I'll do is I'll show the response time for when loads change. It's not instantaneous, but it is pretty fast. Um, if it's ready to refresh, it could be almost instantaneous, but normally it seems like updates about once every 10 to 15 seconds, I would say. So I need to get my load, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have my load set up, and it's a uh, hair dryer that supposedly uses 1875 watts, so it's a pretty strong one. You can see my base load is up to 0.91 because I accidentally left the light on in the bathroom, so that jumped up a little bit. But if I turn this on, we'll see how long it takes for it to update. So I'll turn on high, 1875 watts. Okay, so what we can see there is it actually uses a little bit less. Uh, I also have this hairdryer concurrently plugged into a kilowatt meter, and it was showing about 1,550 watts, so that adds up. So you can see the response time is pretty fast as far as how long it takes to actually update. And since the meter is operating in bat uh, battery power mode right now, it just timed out. You can also operate it uh, with a provided DC adapter and then it will run non-stop and the display will not shut off. There's some indicator lights on the side here. The only time I've seen these light up is when I have a message, it will just uh, briefly flash. Uh, I understand it can also show which tier you're in. So it has green, yellow, and red to indicate which tier uh, you're currently being built in, but I haven't actually seen that feature implemented. Okay, the next test I'm gonna try is to see the resolution of this. So I have this linked up here with my kilowatt side by side. So right now we're at about 90 watts. It's balancing between 90 and 91. And the load I have connected to the kilowatt meter is just an LED light bulb that I think consumes around seven or eight watts. That will be displayed on the kilowatt, and then we'll see if the 
uh, rainforest display shows a similar up. Okay, so I just turned the light on. Seven watts, and we're showing about almost 10. So it jumped about 10 on the uh, the meter, even though the kilowatt's showing seven. So I'll shut the light off and see if that goes back. And of course, when you're doing such small amounts of power, things tend to get a little bit, uh, they tend to lose their sensitivity a little bit. So yeah, this is showing about nine watts on the right and about seven on the left. So it's pretty close. Um, I can try it again with the hairdryer just to see how that works. So I'll turn it back on high. Okay, so as we saw there, about 1550 on the kilowatt, and it was more like 1600 on the rainforest display on the right. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is a case of the power meter uh, over-reporting how much I'm using or the kilowatt under-reporting how much is being used. Um, hopefully it's the kilowatt under-reporting, so I'm not being charged for more than I'm actually using. But uh, nothing's quite perfect, so... Okay, here's a test to see how it reflects against the actual uh, power meter. So you got 0.5 on the meter and 0.54, so this actually has higher resolution than the meter on the on the house. Next thing I think will be uh, the kilowatt hour total. So this should match exactly, I would imagine. 6,586 kilowatt hours, and it will, there it is. Okay, so we also have a decimal point on here, so it gives us even finer resolution. And I think that's about all we're going to be able to see uh, to compare it. So there we are, 54. So yeah, higher resolution, so that's pretty cool. I've only been using this for about two days now, but I have found that I've kind of modified my energy usage a little bit based on this. So I have it sitting right beside my desk where I'm normally sitting, and I can monitor the entire usage of the house. So I can tell if the refrigerator is cycled on, I can tell if the air conditioner is running, or how much power everything is using. Maybe I left some lights on, I can tell that. So one thing I've discovered is that I've kind of turned the air conditioner temperature up quite a bit. Last night it was about 87 degrees in the house, just because I didn't really want to run the air conditioner if I didn't have to. So if you're living by yourself, that might work out, but if you have other people to worry about, this might not be the thing for you to get. But it can definitely help you conserve power and see how much you can expect to spend.